Hey everybody, Dirk Seller, CEO of Real Estate Champions. Really want to reach out to you today to take a look at hey, some of the numbers. I mean, it's real easy to get caught up on what's going on in the marketplace. Get wrapped up in, quite frankly, the frenzy that's going on in most marketplaces across the country and really miss some of the key distinctions of what we need to do in today's marketplace. Because here's the thing, we got to be constantly looking and gauging and evaluating our numbers and we're kind of in a numbers-based business. There is a relationship in terms of numbers and watching and monitoring our numbers. Now, I know that a lot of agents don't really like that. I mean, it's not something that we get up in the morning and go, hey, whoopee, we get to evaluate the numbers. I mean, here's the thing, make it simple. I mean, the truth of the matter is we really need to make it simple and look at, you know, you don't have to manage dials and and all the number of dials you're doing. And, and the truth is, you know, contacts are important, but here's what's really important. How many quality conversations am I having each day? Or how many quality conversations am I having with potential leads and prospects every week? And while we need to make contacts and we need to reach out to people and you know there is an aspect of numbers that we need to engage in the real issue is hey what's the quality number of conversations that I'm having on a regular basis to drive my business forward how much engaged dialogue am I having with the prospect to get them to functionally lower their guard and having uh, you know a more uh, authentic open conversation with them and you know am I in kind of a back and forth type tennis match and guys here's the thing when you're looking at engaging a prospect and engaging in sales I look at it is kind of a tennis match. Not that I'm trying to hit a winner. No, I'm trying to get in a rally with the prospect. And that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to rally back and forth with a prospect. So am I getting that engagement and quality conversation? And is there that quality element that I'm working toward? And to me, the type of questions I need to be able to engage in to have that quality conversation is getting into an explanation of the timeline and getting that client or prospect to reveal that. I'm trying to do a needs assessment with that prospect. I'm trying to understand the typical decision making process that they go through in regards to this decision or big decisions like this. What kind of information requirements to the decision are they going to place on it and do they need? What kind of key problems are they trying to solve with taking a step or action in terms of a move or considering a move? What kind of price range or price tag or price payment are we trying to adhere to and maybe what other agents are they considering or in the mix. To me, those are the components of having a quality conversation with the prospect. Make sure that you're taking a look at conversations, quality conversations and the scope of that. This is really session one Stay tuned later this week for me in getting you more in depth and elongating those conversations and the strategy to really be able to convert more leads, have better conversion rate, and do more business. Until later this week, have a great productive early part of your week. We'll talk to you soon.